All right, guys, I'm going to take you through the basic operation of the uh, high idle switch made by Molpar1973man.com. Uh, what we're going to be looking at here is the intake air temperature sensor and also the coolant. Right now, the switch is in the off position, so we're just passing through the sensor data right to the ECM. Uh, what we do is if we turn it to MPG mode, what we should see is coolant stay at uh, the pass-through, which is 140 right now, and intake air should take uh, turn to 143. So we're going to switch it over, intake air has jumped up to 143 and coolant is still at 140. Uh, next we're going to do three six cylinder high idle. Uh, this should take uh, intake air down to like 26 degrees I believe. And it also fooled the ECM into thinking the coolant is 123 degrees. Um, this will enable you to do high idle indefinitely. So we flop that over, we got intake air temperature of 26 degrees and coolant to 123 like expected. The last mode is three cylinder high idle. Um, again, we fool the intake air temperature sensor into thinking it's cold out. I think it's about 14 degrees is what it requires. Uh, but we do pass the ECT temperature through to the ECM. Uh, so it does disable high idle six or three cylinder when once the truck's up to temperature. So you can see that we're back at 140 degrees coolant because that's what uh, the truck's at right now. But the air intake temperature is at 14 degrees. Again, going right back to off, you can see air temperatures back to 134, coolant still at 140.